Folk singer Arlo Guthrie is in town this weekend. He has a show tomorrow night at the Paps Theater. He's best known for his 20-minute song, Alice's Restaurant, and this tour celebrates that song's 50th anniversary. Guthrie sat down today with an exclusive interview with Vince Vetrano. I was at a show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It had to be 15 years ago. And people were yelling out requests as they do. And someone said, Alice's Restaurant. And you said, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you went a long time without really playing that regularly. Now you're back out with the 50th anniversary. Uh, you're, you're singing it every night. What's that experience been like, sharing that with the fans again? Well, you know, uh, Alice came out as a record in 67. Uh, and it was really uh, successful. Uh, all, all across the board. We actually sold more records through the PX, through the military, right, than right. we did through the regular record store. So it was very popular uh, with people across the board, regardless of political, uh, you know, uh, or social or economic factors. But in the mid-70s, by the time the mid-70s had rolled around, the draft was over, the war was winding down, vets were coming home. It was a different time. And so I uh, took it off the set list because it was just so long. It was, you know, basically 20 minutes. And then people complained and they'd come to the show and they'd say, he didn't he sing didn't play. Play. I want my money back. And so he'd say, okay, give him his money back, don't come back. And, uh, <laughs> that was the remedy? That was the right. remedy. But, you know, after a while, I realized that we could, even though we couldn't do it every night, uh, it didn't mean that we couldn't do it all together at some point. So every 10 years, we do about a two-year tour, uh, which is the next decade. And uh, so here we are at the 50th, which is the big one. And uh, I started writing this in 1965 in November. And here we are. Uh, 50 years later, just about to the day, and it'll be out on the road with us for a while, and everybody that uh, I asked not to come back is going to come back, they're and they'll be happy this time, <laughs> and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, I think this genre of music, more than any other, it's a, it's a generational thing. You pass things down. Your father to you. I know Abe's toured with you for many years. Your daughter's, is she out on tour with you yeah, this time? Yeah, she is. You know, my so daughter, Sarah Lee. So, I just wonder, is that a reason for you to still be out here, to be able to continue to share that with them? I think the reason I'm out here is because I remember making a conscious decision when I was 18 that I was not going to know how to do anything else. Because my mom had said, you know, Arlo, if you want to be a singer, that's fine, but audiences can be fickle. You ought to know how to do something else. And I remember thinking, if I follow her advice, if it ever gets tough, I'll do something else. But if I don't know how to do anything else, I'll stick with this. And so I went against her wishes, and I burned every bridge to everything <laughs> I could possibly do otherwise, except maybe be a bartender or something. And, and I'm still doing it. And the times did get tough at times, you know, like, every, like in everybody's life. It goes up, it goes down. And we've got through it, uh, basically because I think we just decided not, or I decided not to do anything else. Neat piece Vinny got to do there. Mm -hmm.